Good afternoon, Jesse Hecker with John Deere. Uh, I'm the global business manager for the, the jobs of planting and spraying. So think planters and sprayers primarily. So what we have here today is uh, what we're calling furrow vision. And uh, furrow vision is a sensor today, and it's a sensor that looks into the furrow. So, you know, for decades, for hundreds of years, customers, when they think about um, the job of planting, how good they do, right? The number one input they use is their eyes and uh, they get out of the tractor, they go, they get out their pocket knife, their pliers, and they dig. What are they digging for? They're digging for seed placement to make sure that they don't have any skips, they don't have any doubles. They're digging for depth, they're digging for um, uh, the quality of the furrow, they're digging for residue and stuff. And so really what furrow vision does is it brings the eyes of the operator into the furrow. And so what you see here is our furrow vision um, product. It's, it's made up of, of camera lights, and you can see there that green part is a laser. And what we're doing right now with furrow vision is we're using those components to be able to identify depth. And so if you look over here, this is what uh, furrow vision looks like in the cab today. Um, you can get a live video feed of this uh, through our Connect Mobile platform on the Gen 4 display. You can see C depth and um, it takes a little bit of time to adjust because of some of the filtering things that are going on right now. But what you'll see here in a little bit is that the depth changed and it turned red because my target depth was two inches. So for the customer's standpoint here, not only do they get eyes into the furrow and look, um, but the first measurement that we're doing with that technology is to give them an indication of depth so that they have a, uh, a little bit of an in, uh, idea of, do I need to get out of the cab and make adjustments on the machine? It's not available right now. We have it out in the field with customers doing validation and testing, and we're targeting limited availability as a kit uh, in 24.